More now on the anniversary of the deadly tornadoes that swept through the southeast one year ago today. In Trenton, Georgia, a woman's home was destroyed with her in it. She was pronounced dead and placed in a body bag in a makeshift morgue. But today, she's very much alive and sharing her story. Fox News' Justin Gray begins our live team coverage from Ringo. Justin. Yeah, Lisa. Ringgold's still very much damaged by this tornado. You can still see signs of it all over the place, but you can also see signs of the work to rebuild. Now, the story of Glenlyn Lawson really tells a lot about this community, this spirit, and the hope in this community. Said they found me here in the ditch. And your house is way back here. And, and the 365 days since the tornado hit tiny Triton, Georgia, Glennis Lawson has built a new house. But these pictures show her home and the van parked in front of it one year ago. By the time that it had got to my area, it was too late for me to go anywhere. So the last thing I remember is being in the closet on my knees praying. She ended up in this room of the nearby Dade Health and Rehab nursing home. Not in a patient bed, but in a body bag. All of a sudden they came and asked could we be the morgue. And that's when they started bringing the bodies in. Dana Culpepper is the nurse supervisor here and was dealing with the nursing home without power that had been directly in the path of three tornadoes and was now an emergency staging center. First body in and it was put right here. When Culpepper and another nurse were making rounds, they say they heard muffled sounds in the makeshift morgue. And I kept hearing, I thought something moan. I really couldn't tell because, you know, there was so much noise. We started to the door and we got to the door and we heard another moan. And that's when I said, let's, let's look in the body back. And that's when she says she found the shock of a lifetime. Glennis Lawson, barely alive, but still breathing. When we opened it up, uh, I know I, her nose was gone, her ear was off, and, you know, just a lot of blood. And so the nurses here kicked into action, starting an IV, trying to stop the bleeding, trying to save a life. Just did what, what comes natural. As a nurse, it comes natural. Uh, you see something like that, you think, I can't do this, but you can do a lot when you have to. But even as the we ambulance left the nursing home, Culpepper like says she didn't hold out time. much hope that she it. was much help. I really didn't think that she would live to even make it to the hospital. None of us did. But today, Glennis Lawson is a familiar face and a regular visitor here at the nursing home. This is sort of like a second home, you know, and, and uh, I do visit a lot. She's 100% healthy with no visible signs of what she went through. I, it's a miracle. I look at her and I think she's a miracle. Lawson says the first thing she remembered was waking up in the hospital bed days later. She calls the nurses here her special angels. I give all my glory to God and, and he give me all these other angels to help me. But the home Glennis loved and everything in it is gone. Her neighborhood will never be the same. But she says her life won't either. That day a year ago was a new beginning. It's been, it's been a challenging year. But I, I'm just thankful, you know, that the Lord has given it to me. Such an incredible story. Glennis Lawson, she loved the people at that nursing home so much that this past year, when her father was experiencing dementia, she moved him to the nursing home. She says she now is friends with the patients, the nurses, her special angels, as she calls them. We're going to have a lot more coming up at 6 on the efforts to rebuild here in the Ringgold area. Real, really, so many incredible stories, so many people who have been through so much and are now doing so much to get their lives back on track. For now, we are live with the Storm Chaser in Ringgold, Justin Gray, Fox News. Really miraculous mm -hmm. how they saved her life, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Justin, thanks.